Meghan and Harry break stock record with staggering amount of viewing hours. The first three episodes of The Deguser is captured 81.55 million hours of viewing globally. Harry and Meghan hit Netflix's biggest documentary debut week in the history of the streaming service. The first three episodes of Harry and Meghan logged 81.55 million viewing hours after its debut last Thursday, Netflix said in a statement Tuesday. The streaming giant also reported that more than 28 million households watched at least part of the series. On Tuesday, Netflix released the week's global top 10 a weekly top 10 list of the most watched TV and films. Wednesday topped the list for the third week in a row, with more than 286.67 million hours of viewing. The Addams Family spin-off also joined Squid Game and Stranger Things 4 as a series to hit a billion hours of viewing in its first four weeks. Harry and Meghan took the second spot after only three of the episodes have been released. The documentary about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle still has three more episodes left. As the credits rolled at the end of the third episode of Harry and Meghan, which hit Netflix Thursday, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex addressed what audiences can expect in Volume 2 of their Decuseries, which premieres next week. This is when a family and a family business are in direct conflict, Meghan said, referencing the royal family. Everything that's happened to us was always gonna happen to us Harry. I did of the decisions that drove them to step back as senior working royals in March 2020. Meghan added, suddenly, what clicked in my head was, it's never gonna stop. There was no other option at this point. We need to get out of here, Harry said. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex opened up like never before with the first installment of Harry and Meghan. Their highly anticipated accuser is from Oscar-nominated director Liz Garbus. In the first three episodes, streaming now, the California-based couple spoke about their early romance. The racism she faced when their relationship went public, Harry's proposal, Meghan's entry into the royal family and more. Prince Harry and Meghan have once again divided opinion following the release of a bombshell trailer for the second part of their Netflix show. The couple were seen making a series of extraordinary claims from Harry stating. They were happy to lie to protect my brother. They were never willing to tell the truth to protect us. To Meghan claiming, I wasn't being thrown to the wolves. I was being fed to the wolves. And their comments have sparked a huge reaction amongst fans and critics alike. I'm so glad Prince Harry did it beat around the bush. We want names and he is providing. The Oprah interview was arguably the warning to stop briefing against them and they continued, one said in support of the couple. A second agreed, that was my immediate thought. He's tired. He's tried to be mindful of his family and they persisted. While I loved hearing him give a name. I loved even more that they are in a position now, truly free and happy, that they don't have to fear what being honest will bring. A third added, that is exactly what the interview felt like. A warning shot. Because everyone could tell they were holding back. It also explains Harry's anger at his father for not stepping in. Because no parent would just sit idle while one son is being attacked by the press day in day out. Others were less supportive of the couple's decision. The trailer for the next three episodes of Netflix's Harry and Meghan has just been released. It confirms fears that it will be toxic. Meghan is fed to the wolves. Harry says they were happy to lie to protect my brother. Who exactly and what is the proof? One questioned. After these snippets, how could they ever be seen again at any public royal event or, based on all this, even desire to ever return? The door is being closed for the good it appears, a second stated. A third agreed, well, everyone. I think this will be the final nail in the coffin for any possible future family relations. A fourth argued, Meghan tells us how disgusted she is about her father collaborating with the media in exchange for money. How ironic. Over three million people have tuned in to watch Prince Harry and Meghan's engagement interview since it aired back in 2017. But most will not have seen the outtakes which is why we've found the unearthed clips. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced their engagement in November 2017. After Harry surprised Meghan with a low-key garden proposal at their Kensington Palace home. They then sat down with BBC's Michael Hussain to talk all things weddings. Including showing off her new trilogy engagement ring including Botswana diamonds and a rock from Princess Diana's collection. But there were a couple of moments when the mics were off and the royals thought that the cameras weren't rolling. During those times, 
fans got a candid glimpse inside their goofy relationship away from the cameras, which saw the couple feed off each other with inside jokes. Sharing the whole story of the intimate moment at Nottingham Cottage, Harry began. I wanted to do it earlier. Because I had to ask permission from my grandmother, I couldn't do it outside of the UK. I did pop a bottle of champagne while she was roasting a chicken and that kind of slightly gave the game away. She was like, you never drink champagne, what's the occasion? And I was like, I don't know, I just had it like, lying around, whatever, Harry joked, and Megan laughed, it was a magnum. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.